kings to commoners, merchants to slave, all enjoy happiness and from evil save. Whatever you seek, he has the charm. Be injured or hungry, Serapis will keep you from harm. Ptolemy I held Egypt during a period of great uncertainty as his fellow Macedonians vied for territories within the empire Alexander the Great had left behind in 323 BC. Like his peers, Ptolemy sought a way to integrate himself, a powerful foreigner, within his domain and eventually establish himself as king. A religious society, he recognised religion was a path towards acceptance. In the old capital of Memphis, he paid respects to two major gods traditionally linked to the pharaoh, Osiris and the Apis bull. While winning over his large Egyptian population, Greeks and Macedonians immigrated to Egypt, another yet familiar peoples to convince, not as pharaoh, but as Basileus, a Hellenic king like his peers. So Ptolemy took the combined form of the Apis Ball and Osiris, Osorapis, and Hellenized him. Fully human, scepter in hand and enthroned, Serapis was a god linked to the type of king the Greeks would recognise. This statue was placed in the Serapeion in his new Hellenic capital, Alexandria. Here, Ptolemy I claimed a unique divine patronage over the start of the Ptolemaic dynasty and protection over his new Hellenic inhabitants. The charm of Serapis soon worked. In Greek double dedications, prayers of favour to Serapis on Ptolemy I's behalf addressed him as king. This divine relationship was taken further by the foundation of an official royal cult, an introduction for his Greek subjects to the Egyptian view of a king being godlike or even a living god. Ptolemy II founded the Theodelphoi, the cult of himself and his sister, as commemorated in this coin. A comparison to Serapis and the goddess Isis laid in his marriage to his sister Arsinoe II, an accepted move to appear more Egyptian. Serapis often took Osiris' traditional place in the supportive marriage with his sister Isis, as seen in this inspired coin made under his later successor, Ptolemy IV. The multiple parallels connected the Ptolemies closer to Serapis's worship and Serapis to the role of protector of their rule. A rule which many prayed to succeed for their own benefit. As we can see, Serapis was soon seen to help turn the Ptolemies' favour towards his worshippers. It reveals their acceptance towards their king, Ptolemy I and his successors. Ptolemy I understood that a stable Egypt could be achieved through religion. His successors continued to add themselves to the royal cult and encouraged the mutually beneficial worship of Hellenized Osorapis. Though the Egyptians preferred the form of Osiris to worship their pharaoh, his links to gods such as far-reaching Isis, to the rooted worship of the Apis bull, helped tie new links between a Macedonian pharaoh and his foreign subjects and for his peers in their own kingdoms overseas to recognize this successful pharaoh as king.